happy wednesday and happy work for wednesday i hope you guys are having a beautiful and wonderful and the most special and an amazing day ever i'm having a great day because it's workflow wednesday hello <laughs> and in today's video we're going to be talking about something really special and yes let's let's not bring up the fact that i'm on the screen i'm trying to get comfortable with it i'm trying to see if i like this i like being behind the ca the camera so i don't i don't know well, we're gonna see if i like this or not but for today's video um, I'm currently working on a small application thanks to New Apprenticeship. New Apprenticeship has helped me and other service now professionals um, accelerate their professional journey. And they have helped me being able to pass my CAD exam and also develop two custom applications with them, making this one my second one. And this custom application is called Digital Tickets. And it's meant to manage tickets for a sub company called Digital Tickets. And this application is meant to really emphasize on business process logic and also implement, I'm, I'm sorry, business process flows, okay? And also to implement custom logic for this particular organization. Now that I've said all that talking, Let's get to what the flow is asking for our sprint requirement. I have had the luxury to look at this just one time, and I know that for this flow, I'm looking at it on my phone, but it will be pulled up on the screen in front of you. But for this flow, I know that we, of course, have to have a trigger, and in our flow, we are um, implementing um, flow logic, most especially the if else statements for our application. So let's get started. Let's let's, let's jump into, into Flow Designer and let's, let's see how this will work. So of course, to get to Flow Designer, you search up Flow Designer, Workflow Studio, or Process Automation on your um, ServiceNow platform. And here we are. So before I click on new, let's go over the flow requirement like for real quick. So we're creating a flow and the purpose of this flow is to generate tickets. The trigger is when records are created in the ticket table because this application contains a table, two tables actually. And our action, we have to get catalog variables from the record producer we created. And um, that's when our if statement, the flow logic kicks in. We have an if else statement going on and then we are updating the record action so that doesn't sound bad does it let's let's get started let's see so here we are i have to make myself smaller so we can see the full screen you click on edit flow and our first requirement is to set a trigger so it says when records are created. So now I have gotten my catalog variables from my record producer that we created. This record producer is meant to um, store information about tickets and then it gets submitted and turned into a ticket record. And now next, for my next action, I need to go ahead and input my flow logic and my if else conditions. Now we need to create another flow logic which is our else statement. So it's saying else, else if it's not warranty, if the ticket type is anything other than warranty, then we are updating our record. So 
And then lastly, for our last requirement, we need to use the update record action, the actual action itself, to set the ticket record field. Um, based on this requirement, we need to set description field. I'm looking at the requirement on my phone, by the way. Description field, um, device, and work notes field on the ticket form, on the ticket record. So. So for the description, we need to dot lock. Wrong dot walk. So I think I'm supposed to be doing this from here. And then also priority. That's all we need to do. So we click on done. So let's just quickly go over what we did. Um, this flow is triggered whenever tickets get created. And what this does is um, we're getting our, to generate and update a ticket. We're getting the catalog variables from ticket producer. And then we're checking if um, the variables in ticket producer, if the ticket type is warranty, then certain fields get updated on our created ticket record, or else certain fields get updated on the ticket record. And then finally, we're doing a overall general update of the record itself. So let's activate the flow and test it. let's quickly create a new one I haven't used this action before so this is pretty cool as we can see here our flow ran successfully as we can see the reason why these two were not ran was because our record producer we have to physically select um, the type to be warranty for it to um, perform this action. That's why our else statement um, got completed instead. So let's just take a quick look at the ticket record. And here we go. Our ticket works. So our ticket, our state got updated, but we see that our description there's something wrong it's only populating the priority and not the other thing and that's not supposed to happen so we need to figure out and see what the problem is i'm pretty sure it's because i used um get catalog variables instead of um so we'll see Oh, no, it's not. The reason why this didn't run, our, our record works. The reason why this updated like this was because these other two um, fields are from our record producer. So we would need to submit a record producer 
um, to see the rest of these two fields that we want to populate for it to populate. But we can quickly try that and see. So let's try really quick. So we go to Of course, you can also do this through the portal, but we're already here, so. So we're gonna try with the actual if else logic, which was if the type of request was warranty. So, let's just say. Okay guys, it works, but there's still a problem. Can somebody tell me what the problem is? It's given us the sys ID. Flow works, but there's one small problem. It is given us the sys ID of the device. Because the device is a request, it's a reference, it's given us the sys ID, so we need to dot walk to the device name. Make sense? So our flow works, everything is perfect. We, we did a great job. So this is real emphasis on building in public. So let's quickly fix that. Um, I think our problem is over here, yeah. And there we have it. That's all we need to fix. And we dot walk to the name because I need to double check. And that's it. And you press done. It automatically saves. So should we quickly try it again? Let's quickly try it again. At least our stuff works, right? That's all that matters. So it should definitely be all fine and dandy this time. There we go. Our flow works. Of course, we're missing a, but it works. Go you, go us. It works, congratulations. Of course, we can go back and fix and add the little asterisks. Not the asterisks, um, whatever these, the slashes. But it works. It works perfect. It works amazing. You did a great job. We did a great job. So yay, I hope um, this video, <laughs> I hope you learned or had fun doing this with me as I had fun doing this myself and learning from my mistakes. Um, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful and an amazing rest of your day. And um, I would be including private documentations on Flow Designer, Flow Logic. And let me know what you think and if you would be practicing this on your flow. And I'll see you next time. Bye.